is Kat and today I have my first Valentine's Day look for my channel ever. Um, it is just a monochromatic peach look. Um, obviously you can wear it whenever you want. It's just really soft and pretty and natural and I hope you like it and if you wear it let me know because I think it's really cute and I'd love to see it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Hey, hey, it's voiceover time. So the first thing I did was I took this transition shade from the Morphe 350 and I just put it in the video because you can tell that I have something on my eyes, but if I redid this look, I wouldn't use this. This was just my first time using ColourPop shadows, so I popped that in there. But as you can see, this color is pretty similar to the transition shade I used, just more pigmented and pretty, so I didn't need to do that first step, but anyway. I took Kennedy and put it in my crease and wasn't really careful with it because I wanted this to be like a peach base to my look so I just threw that on and then I also took Cornelius with this little uh, crease brush but uh, I didn't realize this I thought Cornelius was deeper than it actually is but it's really just a neutral pretty light brown once you get it on it's just in the in the pan, pot, container, whatever, I thought it was darker than it really is, which is my bad. I should have swatched it first, but I didn't. So you can see it doesn't really do a lot. It just kind of like neutralized the peach a little bit. You can see where I'm putting it. And then I used Puppy Love, which is really interesting. It's like a really light gold, but it has like a peach sheen to it. So it's a very pretty lid shade great for natural looks. I will definitely be using it a lot. And then I just took the, the extra that was on that brush I used in my crease and just kind of threw it on the lower lash line. It didn't really do a whole lot, but that was kind of the point. And then I put on my mascara and Ardell 110s, as you'll see. And while I'm putting on my lashes, I have a few questions. One, do you prefer voiceovers or talk-throughs? Two, do you like longer videos like I just posted that really long haul I feel like people won't like that but I don't know if it's just me and then the last question is do you like full face videos like where you see me put on foundation or just where I go from like the eyes and then and then go through it and like not do skin stuff on camera so just let me know if you hear this uh, please shoot me a comment or something just letting me know and then for my blush, I put on the Essence Silky Touch Blush in Autumn Peach, one of my favorite blushes. You can see I put that on with an e.l.f. blush brush. And then for my highlight, I used Spoon by Colourpop, and I just used my fingers and just slapped it on. I am getting more and more into cream products. For me, cream products just make me think of like slapping it on really quick and easy. I think I'll do a video where I use mostly my fingers just because brushes I don't know it's not gonna be like one of those challenge videos where you can't use any brushes but just um, for people who don't have a lot of brushes or aren't used to using brushes just something that you can kind of segue in to your makeup routine so I tried to use this Milani brow pen and you can see I wasn't loving it but now that I see it on camera I think it looked fine um, I guess I just wasn't used to it and I'm a creature of habit so I had to bring out I had to bring out my <laughs> BH Cosmetics Flawless Brow Trio which I always use if you've seen any of my brow videos I use it every time that's just what I use I'll probably need to repurchase it eventually soon because I'm about to hit major pan on that middle shade that I always use. But anyway, I also put in some Essence uh, brow gel. It's not really a gel, but whatever. And then I used the ColourPop Ultra Matte in Instigator. And once it dried down on camera, it looked more pink, but it's definitely peachy. More peachy than I usually use. And that is it. Bye. <laughs> bye bye. So we made it to the end. Uh, let me know what you think. Cause I think this is cute. I usually don't wear peach lip colors. I talked about that in my haul that I just posted. It's a big one. It's my biggest haul. So if you liked that, let me know. Um, 
or if you like videos like this more let me know and I'll stop posting the hauls because they're not fun to edit <laughs> I'll just say that um, but yeah so I used the the peach stuff from their little peach collection the lip the lip stuff was called the just peachy like trio and then the eye stuff was the peachy keen stuff and I also used um, puppy love which you saw in the video if you watched it so this is what's on my lid and then the rest is the other stuff from the peachy stuff <laughs> and my lip it's called instigator so it's an ultra matte lip in the shade instigator and I usually don't do peaches like this but I'm really warming up to it and then before I go this isn't related to this video really but I went to Kmart yesterday and I picked up some stuff and I thought it would be fun just to talk about it the first thing I actually used today and it's this Rimmel Match Perfection 2-in-1 Skin Tone Adapting Concealer and Highlighter. So it's supposed to be like a highlighting concealer. I kind of put it all over in here today. So I used to use this, but I never rebought it. But I, I got it, and so far so good. I like it. I liked it then, and I like it now. And then, actually what's on my nails right now is from Candy Johnson's Sinful Colors collection. I almost picked up the mint one too, but I was like, I'll start out with this one because um, at Kmart they had basically all the shades, I think. So um, I watched her video where she announced them and talked about them and this color really stuck out to me. It's Strawberry Milk and that's so cute and the name is so cute. And if you want to see the polish better, I would just watch her video because my nails aren't cute. I cut them really short for now. If you watch my old videos, you'd have seen that I had long nails. I'm just, I don't know, not into that right now. And what else did I get? That's two of the things. Then I got this Milani lipstick. I always think about how much I love Milani lipsticks, but the ones that I have, I don't really wear that much. Um, but this one is one of the matte ones and it's called Matte Blissful number 62. I'm gonna check that out. And their matte lipsticks have a vanilla scent, which is part of why I wanted <laughs> to get one of the ones from the matte line, because I have um, just lipsticks from the regular line. And I love, I love the scent of the other ones. It's kind of almost like watermelon candy. I love it so much, but I just think their packaging is so nice and they're what, $5.99? And I just think they're really great really great lipstick so I will definitely wear this. If you want me to do, use it in a video, I can. Just let me know. Um, and then the last thing I got was this Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. This was kind of like an impulse buy. Um, they actually had a lot of them. I didn't see any of the concealers or I did see a few of the powders but they had a bunch of these sitting out and it says that there's no flashback tested under different light conditions. I actually watched Casey, her, um, I almost said URL, her YouTube name used to be still glamorous, but she changed it to Casey. So if you know her, then you know who I'm talking about, but she did a review on the whole line and she said that it was great. So if you want to hear my thoughts, this is a really interesting little applicator. It's like a little paddle. Um, but I was curious to see if it oxidized because this is a really light shade. It looks like it's kind of oxidizing on the edges. So that's that. I'm really interested to see how that goes. And with everything, just let me know. And stuff in my past hauls, if you're like, if you've rewatched one or something, if you're just like, can you use X, Y, and Z in a video? So that's it for this video. Sorry for that long outro. Um, sorry if you're not interested in this stuff from Kmart, but I thought it'd be fun to throw in at the end. So let me know what you think about the look and let me know if you have any requests or anything and I will get right on it because I'm having fun doing YouTube right now. So uh, yeah, that's it. Bye.